Answering questions. Rant of the week. Opening mail. Hajime! last two weeks I have gotten like 10 to 15 emails talking about pressure, stress, frustration, and fear. So I'm going to give you the one tool that has helped me through all this most in my entire life. This will help you out. Let's do it. In my undergrad at North Dakota State, I had a teacher who talked about process versus the product, where the process is the lines in which you're moving forward through time. Then there's the product, which is on that line, the very end, you're at the end of the line. The difference between the process and the product is right now versus the end. Now ignorance is bliss. When you start something, you usually start without the end in mind, without the product. Now goal setting usually has a huge product. You want to get someplace, you want to get here. Now the problem with that is, is that there are many, many, many roads to get there. Now here's where the problem comes in, which starts with the stress, pressure, frustration, and all this other garbage. Let's use the pole vault example. When you start pole vault, why did you start pole vaulting? I started pole vault because it looked like fun and I just wanted to experience it. I wanted to see what would happen. It was full of experiments and surprises. When you have experiments and surprises, anything is possible and you just kind of keep building upon the surprise. What surprise did I get and what was the outcome of the experiment? And then you kind of keep building off of that and that's the process. Now is what happens when you think about the product or the end first, then you're trying to force the image that you have in your head. You're like, this is the road to get there. I need to stay on this road and get there. And if you stay on the same road the whole time, then all of a sudden you have a roadblock. You can't loop around and get to that other road or destination that you want to get to. And that can cause a lot of frustration, problems, because you're trying to break down the barrier. A plan in the future, something down the road in the future, and that's what it has to look like. And then when reality doesn't match that, you're like, ah, what did I do? Ah, I need to start freaking out a little bit. Suffering is caused by wanting things to be different than the way they are. Or another way of thinking about it is that reality doesn't match the picture that's in your head. And that also freaks people out big time. So here's what I recommend. Remember why you started. Let's put. Let's try and keep this simple. Keep experimenting to see what you can do. That's it. Experiment to see what you can do. That way, you get surprises and you get knowledge. That leads to more knowledge and more surprises. I'll say that one more time. Experiment so you get surprises and knowledge. That leads to more knowledge and surprises. And then you're set. Then whatever happens just happens. Even if it doesn't match the picture in your head, which might be a surprise, then you gain more information, you can make better experiments, and get more surprises. Think about that for a while. All right, let's do the rant of the week. This rant of the week is by Curtis Bell. This is your, this is your mail. So if you give me your address, I will put these bad boys in there and send them to you. If you guys have a rant of the week, leave them in the comments below. And if I pick it, I'll send you some free stuff. All right, let's do it. Non-pole vaulters who lay on the mat. Don't you just hate it when people lay on the mat? I mean, really, it's kind of like if you just got done doing a pole vault workout, you're super tired, and then you went over to the javelin ring and just laid down on the grass. I'm tired. Well, you better get off that because there's javelins flying all over the place, and they're gonna hit you in the eyeballs. Doesn't make any sense. Same goes for like the long jump. Oh, you guys are long jumping over there? I better uh, build a sandcastle. You guys can wait because I need this chill time before I jump today. There was this announcer at NDSU who was notorious for hating people sitting on the pits. No sitting on the pole vault pits, please. Just a friendly reminder, no sitting on the pole vault pits. If you are not competing, please do not sit on the pole vault or high jump pits. 
if you are not competing or part of the track meet here at North Dakota State University. Please stay off of the track and especially stay off the pole vault and high jump mats. They are not beds for sleeping. There are seats in the stands for you to sit on. And then if it got really bad, this was the best part. This is, this is a true story. This happened. Lyle did this to some lady once. If you are an old lady wearing a kitten sweater that is pink and blue, yeah, you, get off the pole vault pits. You do not need to be down here. Get off the pits now. <laughs> and she got off the pits. It worked. <laughs> but worse than people sitting on the pole vault pits are people who just put their crap on the pole vault pits. I'm going to keep my stuff off the ground because I need to keep my jacket up here and my water bottle and my shoes and everything else. And I know this has probably never happened to you and it never happened to me either. The end. Leave me your low rants below. That's it for this week's weeks. That's it. I can't talk. That's it for this week's rant. All right. I got a lot of mail this week, so I'm just going to... I haven't opened them yet, so let's open a few of them. It's from Melissa White. This is awesome. If you guys don't remember, I went to Pennsylvania and coached this crew, and they signed it for me. And look kind of copied the way I signed my stuff. But I stole mine from Tim Mack. This is awesome. Thank you guys. I love getting stuff like this. And I love getting updates from emails. I think I know what this one is. It's from Tommy Ronning from Denmark. I came a long ways. Ow! Holy crap, is this the coolest thing you've ever seen? Okay, so here's my plan. I keep getting awesome things like this, so my wall needs to change. I think I'm gonna rearrange my posters in the next two weeks and put this straight and center up here. I need to find a good place for this because this is the coolest. I just love this thing. All right, thanks you guys. I love all this stuff and nothing gets me more jacked than having people buy into what I'm trying to do here. Mm, smells good. Last week I said I started this new diet where I was eating 100% clean and the rules were we're not eating anything two degrees away from how they came out of the earth. I started off last week very hungry. Because <laughs> all I could eat was fruits and vegetables and I was like no bread because bread is processed. Bread, but I can have oatmeal because oats come out of the earth that way. The blog will start. And I wish I started sooner. I just had a lot of stuff going on. Let me know if you guys like this vlog or share it if you think something in here can help or make somebody laugh because laughing does help. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mmm. Smells good. You know me. I'm super curious and I explored the park. <laughs> that tasted like pennies.